We are digging into the amazing NEON project today. Prepare for an adventure into the future as we explore the groundbreaking ideas, sustainable vision, and amazing potential. Let's begin immediately. You might be informed if you're watching our channel that we've made a video about the NEOM project. You can view it on our channel if you haven't already. For those who didn't yet know, NEOM is more than simply another metropolis. It offers a daring vision of what a technologically advanced and sustainable future might entail. To start this topic, we have to talk about the Saudi Vision 2030. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia revealed this ambitious and revolutionary vision in 2016. Saudi Vision 2030 places a strong emphasis on the creation of a labor force that is both highly skilled and productive. It focuses on improving Saudi citizens' access to education and training, encouraging employment possibilities and empowering women and young people in particular. Since it involves attempts to improve healthcare services, promote cultural and recreational pursuits, and create dynamic and sustainable cities, it also emphasizes the quality of life for Saudi nationals. Through this, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia will be promoted as a world authority and a center for business, finance, and tourism. It aims to foster cultural understanding and exchange while strengthening international ties. The vision acknowledges the significance of environmental sustainability and seeks to safeguard natural resources, advance renewable energy sources, and create eco-friendly measures to slow down climate change. A key transformational initiative to restructure the Saudi economy and society is Saudi Vision 2030. The plan's implementation entails a number of activities and programs designed to help reach its long-term objectives by the year 2030. It aims to portray Saudi Arabia as a thriving, diverse, and globally linked country that supports both local and global development. The section of the project that we will now discuss under the name of The Line is the project updates. For more details, be sure to see the video we have prepared about this. For those who don't know, The Line is an expected, car-free, renewable energy-powered 170-kilometer long linear city in Saudi Arabia. It is intended to be a walking, sustainable city. It will be split up into 131 districts, each with its own character. The city will be run entirely on renewable energy, and garbage generation will be minimized. It is expected to create 380,000 jobs and attract 1 million residents by 2030. It is also expected to contribute $100 billion to the Saudi economy. It has also been praised for its ambitious goals and its potential to be a model for sustainable urban development. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe so you'll stay updated on the NEO project and any future luxury videos. As of the moment, the line is currently continuing and the project is going well. According to a documentary and an article from Arab News, Crown Press Mohammed bin Salman said, Since we have an empty place and we want to have a place for 10 million people, then let's think from scratch. One design option stood out following an exhibition for the best designers to submit ideas for how the city could look. They provided us with cities based on the existing methods but with better solutions. As a result, a 170-kilometer long 200-meter wide urban design phenomenon will be created that runs entirely on renewable energy, preserves 95% of the area for nature, and has no cars. The look of the city was unveiled by the Crown Prince in 2022. He said the design would clarify the internal structure of the multi-layered city and address the problems of traditional flat horizontal cities. The Saudi population is projected to increase from its current 33 million to between 50 and 55 million people by 2030, according to the Crown Prince. The futuristic metropolis, according to him, needed to be both technologically and artistically acceptable. High-speed rail will offer a 20-minute end-to-end transmit time, and residents of the line will only need to walk 5 minutes to reach all facilities. The CEO of NEOM, Nadmi Al-Nasir, on the other hand, stated that the futuristic city's construction is proceeding according to plan. According to Arab News, Peter Fitzharding, NEOM's head of the marketing and tourism, said, the development is being done. Neom is becoming a reality. I live in Neom and I see developments every minute of every day. You have to come to Neom to see the future of livability in the world. Of those that keep seeing the current mega projects in Saudi Arabia are too ambitious and cannot be done, the Crown Prince said. They can keep saying that and we can keep proving them wrong. I can promise you there's going to be something new and creative in Neom. Sidala Island 
commonly referred to as the Jewel of the Red Sea, is one of the islands that will be constructed as part of the NEO project in Saudi Arabia. Off the shore of Tabuk province, in the Red Sea, is where it is situated. It is almost 240 kilometers away from Jeddah and 30 kilometers away from Neom Bay. The island is bordered by coral reefs and measures about 34 square kilometers. Many different creatures live there, including fish, turtles, and dolphins. It is being transformed into a posh resort area. Hotels, villas, spas, and golf courses will all be present. The island will also have a number of sustainable features such as solar power and rainwater harvesting. In terms of the latest updates, the Super Yacht Times article states that Monaco Base is the provider. Biwa Yachting will partner with Neom to provide services for the world's largest vessels as super yachts as Sindala becomes the Red Sea's long-awaited super yacht destination. It will provide top-notch services to the island's yachting customers by helping with operations at the worldwide super yacht marina in Sindala. To help captains, managers, and crews, the office will be staffed by members of the Biwa Yachting team who have decades of yachting industry experience. Sindala, which is is scheduled to open in early 2024, is anticipated to play a significant role in advancing Saudi Arabia's national tourism plan. The marina will have 86 spaces for boats up to 50 meters in length. Additional well-maintained offshore markers will also offer anchorage for super yachts up to 180 meters in length. The Oxagon Project, which is roughly 100 kilometers from the city of Neo Bay on the Red Sea coast, will receive the following update. An old phosphate mine that has been recovered and turned into a human-made island is the location. In addition to various manufacturing and industrial facilities, the project will also include research and development facilities. Additionally, it will include a lot of environmentally friendly elements like solar electricity and rainwater collection. 2025 is the projected completion date. According to the Arab News, a $2 billion contract for building the Connector South Rail Line that will connect Saudi Arabia's industrial city Oxygen. The transportation project will be handled by SACO, a joint venture between WeBuild Italy and Ship Al Jazeera Contracting, which has its headquarters in Riyadh. From the line to Neom City Station, the road will continue south, passing by Neom Bay Mansions, Neom Bay Airport, and Oxagon. According to the Middle East Economic Digest, the project will include the construction of a 75-kilometer railway line. The infrastructural corridor will include seven roadways, line rail underpasses, 14 viaducts, and earthwork. The year 2023 has a lot to say in terms of general updates because, in January, Neom revealed that it had reached an agreement with the Spanish company Asonia to construct the first phase of its the Line City. They declared in February that they had reached an agreement with American business Boeing to create a brand new variety of flying taxi. The electric motors that will power the flying taxi are intended for use in Neo's The Line City. They announced in March that they had a contract in place with the Chinese firm Alibaba to build a new data center in Neo. Data for Neo's numerous businesses and initiatives will be processed and stored in the data center. Finally, they disclosed in April that they had reached an agreement to build a new green hydrogen plant in Neom with the French business Total Energies, the line city operated by Neom and other nearby enterprises will be powered by the environmentally friendly hydrogen plant. Well, that's a wrap for Neom Project latest updates. If you learned something, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. This is Luxify.